But you're never gonna be Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody ass came from the people who deceived me Bloody ass break through the chains, go free me Looking for change, looking for pain Pulling a mob, pushing the train I'm never stop, stick to a lane Pick up the pieces and go rearrange I'll be the best above all the rest, put me to the test and It's been nothing less, you check as I'm chess, what's happening next? You got the venom, a tangible weapon, no coming in second, this life is a lesson He got a new engine from pain, it's a blessing, new focus, no guessing Just bold an obsession, all in his possession, you got the retention I leave an impression and take your redemption, just kill no discretion Your mind is a weapon, 11, 11, it's time for progression Well morning everybody, um, we've got the two pieces of uh, architrave, the lintels in, the steel lintels and um, all the cement has gone off. It's been a few days now. Uh, cement has gone off. And both ends lovely. That's really solid now. And uh, we put a few little supports in here just to support this wall, um, just while we're working on the other side. And what I'm gonna to do today is I'm gonna put a, a small scaffolding system in, um, which will uh, be two pieces of scaffolding coming through underneath this wall here and here which will connect to the ground this side and also to connect to the ground that side. I'll, obviously it'll be self-explanatory when I finished it as to what I'm ex exactly trying to do and uh, I'll just show you each of the processes as I go along. Um, what that'll do is give me further support here, isn't it? everything's stable um, but it's really just belt and braces when I start taking out that inside wall because this whole area is going to start to get uh, very exposed until I get those other girders in and then we'll start to uh, fill in up here as well inside these holes as well with with actual bricks not just cement but bricks so building this wall back up internally and then on the face side we'll start to see how we're going to deal with that um, but everything seems to be going okay so far and uh, what we'll do is I'll take the camera inside and show you how that scaffolding system is going to work to um, to give us the support we need when we take those inside bricks out. Anyway, we'll speak a little later. Just looking at the inside just seeing what we really need to do here i've got the holes punched through the wall at the top um, we're just going to pan up there and see if we can see those uh, you should see two scaffolding poles pop out up the top there somewhere there you go now the idea is is to get those securely in but i want to get that piece of scaffolding there Oh, mounted on those stones there and obviously it's too short at the moment but we have extension legs which are these things it's all mounted on the um, the edge of the floor so we have a suspended floor here but the, what, what that's mounted on is the actual um, concrete uh, former that goes around the edge of the wall so we're not on the actual we're not putting weight 
on the actual ventilated part of the floor there. So I just wanted to make that quite clear. I'm sure somebody would have pointed it out. Done You can all see that behind me. Um, that is there to uh, to give us some uh, additional strength um, for that uh, wall above the architrava. That's gone in nicely. Let's take a bit of doing, but uh, that's scaffolding for you. Um, it's gone in nice and square. It's gone straight through to the other side. So what you see on this side, you'll see on the other side. We haven't connected it to, or I, ha I haven't connected it to the main uh, scaffolding that goes around the house. I'm not really a believer in doing that. This, um, this small structure I've done here stands completely on its own. It's self-supporting, uh, it's very, very strong. Um, obviously it's gone through nicely just above the lintels on the outside. I'm gonna show you that right now. Okay, I'm upstairs um, on the back of the camera, obviously, but it gives you a good view of what's happening up here. You'll see a lot of, uh, or hear a lot of, uh, what, look, what sounds like rain. Uh, it isn't, it's uh, snow. Uh, we had about four feet of snow on Saturday night and it's melting um, so it just made this job all the much harder but that's fine. It's got, all gone in now you can see. Trying to get down a bit lower. What I intend to do on those cross members going into the house we put some chocks 
um, so it properly supports that piece of wall and uh, what it means is is that I can start taking the bricks out on the other side um, you know with some degree of comfort obviously um, there's scaffolding in the way but I'll just have to work around that and then obviously I'll brick up this side as I said so and uh, obviously on this side as you can see it's not connected to the main scaffolding in any way um, I don't think the architect would like that it does go all the way down to the floor as you can see on the ground and I've put chocks in at the bottom and uh, it's got adjusters on that so if it moves at all I can actually uh, it's uh, screwably adjustable I think that's what uh, the terminology is anyway that's gone nice so uh, I'm quite happy about that so we'll speak later right I've just brought the camera up just to show you um, this is all pretty solid so these two ends that side and that side are starting to get uh, cement packed in all around that steel and if we come to the middle I've just put the level back on and that's looking pretty level super important to get these level um, if you start level you probably end up level I think I've said it once before but uh, plenty of builders will tell you if it's not level you'll probably carry on not level and just a small attention to detail is important here um, this is quite a long job it's a long process and it's important to take care they may be great big heavy thumping steels um, but they need to be put in delicately in this wall once they're in there in they're in there to stay and uh, doing a good job once is my idea of how I want to do this job okay so the scaffolding's gone in nice and solid uh, part three we're going to be looking at putting in the rest of the steel girders and then after that we'll start to be able to knock this uh, this wall out if you like what you're seeing uh, if you could subscribe uh, ding the bell push the like button I know Leon and I would appreciate that very much uh, so we'll see you next time